Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the CSN at 2020 Mathematics. In this lecture, we will see all those questions related to the Fred Moly integral equation which was asked in here. How you can solve these problems with the help of the shortcut tricks, we will tell in this video. So firstly, look about that, what are those questions are there? The first question is related to the three marks with the 0.75 is a negative marking. You have to find the solution of this problem. While in the second question, this is of this 4.75 marks, that is a part of C and you have to find, you have to give the decision based on the trivial and non trivial How you can solve such kind of the questions and every year the uh, Fred Moll integral equation question definitely be asked in the net examination. So how you can solve this problem? Whenever there is a solution are there, so what, now firstly you have to think about that this is there. This is the integration with respect to the t. What is the meaning of that? It means s is my constant value. So you can take it outside of this, that is s plus 2s is outside, so this is nothing but my t square y of t plus 2s square is outside, integration from here. Now what is the shortcut trick is that how you can get the uh, answers from the given options. So our, op our, our technique is that we can discard the options. So what you can do, let's see you can take any of the options are there. So I, if I take this first option for example, I, or you can take as a second option, third option, any of them. You can substitute the y value here and if you get the same y, then you will get the right answer. For example, if I just consider the last option of y of t, what is the y of t is 60 of t plus 50 of t square. So if I substitute this value of y in here and in here, you will get the same y then is the right answer. So how you can do that? That's a very simple. Now since uh, on the if I first consider this value it means I want this value of here plus of this so I can equate the coefficients so since this is the coefficient of the s square what is the coefficient of the s square is 50 on the left hand side so if I equate this value can I get this uh, two, 2 is already there can I get this value as a 25 if yes then it could be the right answer so what is that if I integrate this t times of this what is that if you multiply this here this is my 50 of t cube integrate from the 0 to 1 what is the right answer of this this is 60 by 3 this is 50 by 4 can it be 25 so that it becomes a 50 no why because it's a 20 is already there 20 plus 5, uh, 12 points so it will not be the right answer it means this option is cancelled out so if you look about the second option so what is that this is minus of 30s plus minus 40 of the s uh, s square so what is the y of t here this is minus of 30t minus of 40 of t square. So if I substitute this value here and try to find that this is a 2 and I need a 40. So I need y as of the minus of 20. So look at that. If I integrate, multiply this by t. So it is nothing but my here. So what is that? What is the integration of this? This is 30 by 3. This is minus 40 by 4. What is that? Minus 10 minus 10 is my minus 20. So it, the first, op first, first one is satisfied. Now you can check for the second one also. You can multiply this by the t square and then integrate b. So this is minus of 30 cube minus of 40 t raised to power 4. What is that? This is minus 30 by 4. This is my minus 40 by 5. So what is that? This is this is my 8. So this is my 32 minus 62 by 4. So if you multiply this by 2, what will happen? This is my 2 minus of 31 and minus 31 s and this is a plus s what is that minus of 30 s so we will get the minus 30 s a so it means the right answer is my c so since this is the question related to the part c there is only a part b there is only one question is correct so it means the right answer is my c is the correct option so you can solve like this otherwise you can also uh, try this option that's option is, uh, this will not be satisfied Look at the another question is there. Again, this is the question to the Fred Moly integral. But now here, uh, they are not asking about the solution like in the previous case, ys, ys is given to you. Here, you have to make the decision. Again, this is the integration with respect to the t. So we can take s as a constant. e raised to power s is my outside. So this is here. Now, whenever you have to make a decision, what you can do is you can consider this value as say a. What is that? This is nothing but my y is lambda e raised to power s of a. So I, I, I want to make a decision trivial, non-trivial on here. This is equation number one. What is that? a is my a is my 0 to, in, one, 0 to 1 e raised to power t 
y of t of dt if you look about the option it means this is my a now what will happen i can substitute the value of y here to get to uh, find the solutions so what is that this is 1 to 0 e raised to power t lambda e raised to power t of a so what is the integration of this if you solve them what is that this is a lambda is constant a is constant so e, this is e raised to power 2t so if you integrate from the 0 to 1 you will get this as the answer so what will happen this is a is common 1 minus lambda times of here so what will happen when it will be 0 it will be 0 either a is 0 or lambda is my 2 upon e square minus 1 now you can make the decision here what is the meaning of that if this means a is 0 if a is 0 what is the value of y y is 0 y is equal to 0 is my trivial solution so if a is 0 it's a non-trivial solution so this option is cancelled out but the second option is correct because if a is my 0 what is the meaning of that it's a trivial solution it means that is satisfied so the b option is my correct but it may have the more more than the one correct answer because it's a part of the c it's a non-trivial solution for all lambda is a non-zero so what will happen if lambda is a non-zero if this is non-zero so can it be the non-trivial not it not always be true because it may be that a will be a zero at that time so if a is zero in, in in some particular case then y is a trivial solution so it means this is option is also discard it has a non-trivial solution only if a is lambda is my here and okay so what is the meaning of that a is my non-zero so what will happen if in this case if a is my non-zero what is the value of the lambda from here this is my here so if you substitute the value here what is the value of the y y is nothing but my this e raised to power s of a since a is non-zero so you will get uh, this is my non-trivial solution so what is that so you can see a has a non-trivial solution if lambda is my here and a is my non-zero so this option is also the correct one so what are the right answers of this that is my b and d are the correct options so if you if you look about this previous example you can also solve uh, the similar manner uh, the same way you can solve this problem what are the second method you can see uh, you can solve this problem also if you consider this as my say a this is my b so what is that this is y is equal to s plus 2 a s this you can also solve like this way i call as equation number one where a is my 0 to 2 t of this and b is my 0 to 1 of here now you can substitute this y value firstly here and secondly here you will get the two equations in terms of the a and b and try to find the value of a and b solve them you will compare them but that will take a some uh, lengthy procedure so the shortcut way i tell you you can substitute this value one by one in here you will get the right answers so next lecture we will see some more questions related to them till then you can simply subscribe the channel share this video with your friends Best of luck students. Thank you.